Friends, welcome to Juani's Garden. My name is Juani. Friends, I wanted to share with you a little bit of how I preserved some of my herbs from last year. Also, because a friend of mine asked me, is it really worth it, all this work you put into the garden? And even if I had half of what I have here, I would say yes, over and over. So I drink a lot of tea, so a lot of my herbs go into jars to have my teas in the winter. I drink tea all year long. Winter is hot tea, summer is iced tea. So a lot of my herbs are in jars for my teas, different kinds of teas. One thing that um, I did put to the test because I wanted to see the difference is this jar right here. So that's mint. And if you can see, it's a little bit brownish. And then this here is mint and this is very green. So the difference between the two is that the brown mint I put in the oven to dry and I didn't care much for the results. The tea is a little bit weak. So I've been air drying instead and the color is super beautiful as you can see. So some of these are also for um, spices. Like I've got my basil here. I've got um, oh, different, different, different ones. I have lemon balm, mostly is tea. So mint, oregano, lemon balm. Um, Estafiate. And look, friends, um, I still have some peaches left over from last year. Look at the beautiful redness inside. They're frozen. You can see the ice. But um, there's a little bit of red there. They are so, so sweet and so juicy and just delicious. We had a lot, a lot, a lot of peaches. It's February, and this is the, the last of the peaches that I have here. I have a lot of greens. So my greens mostly are moringa. I froze uh, moringa and uh, spinach. I froze also a little bit of fennel. This is frozen fennel right here. So for teas as well. But you know, uh, so I did as well uh, dried some for teas and here it is. This is here, the dry fennel. And then I have frozen petal. I also, by the way, have uh, frozen mint. I haven't tried the tea using frozen mint because I haven't had a chance, but I'm curious to see what the tea will taste like with frozen, air dried, or oven dried. So here you have it, friends. A little mountain here of greens, spinach, Moringa, mint, there's a little bit of oregano also frozen, and uh, even fennel, frozen fennel. So I would say yes, definitely worth it. And I'm about to get started all over again, so I have to start using those pretty soon. Friends, thanks for visiting the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, give us a like, see you again soon.